going on guys? It's Cyberhorn92 here. Welcome to the channel. You're new. Subscribe if you haven't turned on that bell notification. Be part of the future of this channel. You'll be the first one. Drop a like if you haven't. Share this to your friends, family, dog, cousin, boyfriend, girlfriend, random person, out of the you never met before. Today's video is going to be about what's on my bucket list before I pass away in 2019 or in the future. Just in case. <laughs> If you don't know what's a bucket list, you're probably on the rock. Anyways, I'll read the definition of what does a bucket list mean. The definition of bucket list is a number of experience or achievement that a person hopes to accomplish during their lifetime. So this is actually kind of interesting video, so I want to set my goal, so just in case it can happen or maybe not. But let's get started into the video. Number one, going to VidCon this year or maybe like future reference. But the reason why I wanted to go to VidCon because I like, get to see all the YouTube creator, like the person you never met before, talk to them, see what it's like, meet, like meet new people, and you get to learn new stuff before anyone else, like basically a sneak peek before anyone they launch or something like that. So it's actually pretty cool you collaborate. And uh, there's a lot of people that like travel around the world, so it's pretty cool to see new people you never met before. So that's pretty much it. Number two, owning a Adidas Ultra Boost and owning a pair of Nike. They look really sick. Usually, I want to get the Ultra Boost first. After that, I'll probably gonna get Nike, but they look really sick. Just look at it, and it's really good for the. It's like basically the popular trending. Follow the trend, why not? And it's really good for fashion as well. On one pair of Supreme, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, and much brand and much more. Not a big fan of this stuff, but they seem really nice. And you know, you have to flex on the hater. You know, you gotta flex, flex. Number four, winning a train card game tournament. Yes, I've been playing this game way too long, and it is Yu-Gi-Oh, not Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh. But yeah, I've been playing this game way too long. I've been starting this channel from the beginning, of, like doing this train card game. That's usually one of my favorite hobby, and I actually kind of missed the gameplay in the, in the competitive scene. So I really want to win a tournament. I have only like one premier top. It's actually pretty good, but like winning the whole tournament, like in the final, like you win the whole thing, it's actually pretty good. And a lot of people won't recognize you and who who you really are. And the price is actually not that bad. Like a trophy card worth like a thousand plus dollar and much more so it's actually pretty cool number five travel the whole world i'm talking about every single state every single like state like every location like every places see what it's like meet new people see the culture even go out of the country see what it's like so but like that's way too much but hopefully that will happen because like i really want to see what it's like the experience and uh, like everything like everything about that certain state like how's the weather much more and there's like so much stuff to do number six high school reunion hopefully we have a high school reunion i know like everyone usually have high school reunion i hear rumors some say they will some will not have high school reunion hopefully we do because i really want to see what is it like and see how much people change like all my friends that i've been hanging out for a while and now everyone probably gonna have a life during that time i don't know about me but like hopefully because like see what it's like and like reunite and talk to the people that you usually talk to number seven meeting my best friend in real life yes i've been talking to this person for a while this person seemed really nice and this person personality is actually really funny and everything like we have so much stuff in common it's actually pretty cool like meeting this person online and it, this is actually a real person yes it is a real person and really want to see this person what it's like in real life so that's pretty cool that meeting your best friend i didn't know you can like have a best friend online like usually people say oh that's not gonna happen or that's probably fake but at the end of the day we all know at the end of the day what's real and what's not